not 31. I had a question coming out of section 3.5, number 65. And this is where we were given this graph and we were asked to vertically compress it, shift it left two units and shift it down two units. So could I come up with the, um, the equation that was gonna do this? So let's, let's break each of these down. Anything vertical, all right, this is gonna happen. I'm gonna have to put this outside of the grouping symbols. Anything left and right that's gonna go inside of my grouping symbols and anything down is gonna go outside of my grouping symbols. And if you're thinking, Miss A, there's no grouping symbols. Well, there secretly is some grouping symbols. So we could technically write this as one over x minus zero squared and there's those parentheses that make up grouping symbols. So let me take this function that I have right here and let's start to mess with it. So I'm gonna do these one at a time. So if I wanna vertically compress by a factor of one third, that's gonna have me multiply by a one third outside of my grouping symbols. All right, I've also been asked, let me put this in pink, to move down three units. That will happen outside of my grouping symbol, so I'm gonna put a minus three right here. And then the last thing I was asked to do was move left two units, but that one's gonna happen inside of my grouping symbols. So instead of having a zero here, I'm gonna have a minus two. But if you think about x minus a negative two, and I simplify that a little bit, I'm gonna have, whoops, I hate when that happens. Let me erase this for a moment. I'm gonna have this become x plus two. So if I clean up everything, and we look at our function, I have one third, right? I have one over x plus two squared, and I have a minus three. I'm gonna call that g of x, my new function, and I'm just gonna combo these together. So I'm ultimately gonna say g of x is one over three times x plus two squared minus three. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.